Hi, my name is Kavita Bala. I'm the SIGGRAPH Asia 2011 Technical Papers Chair. We had a record number of submissions this year, 330 papers were submitted, of which 70 will appear at the conference. In this video, I thought I'd give you a brief introduction to all the great papers that are going to be at SIGGRAPH at Asia this year. These papers represent groundbreaking and impactful research from the technical graphics community. And if you want to learn more about the papers, you'll have to come to the conference. But I hope I give you some idea of what they are. Uh, I'll go session by session and cover uh, uh, each paper in turn. Let's start with the first session. The shape analysis and deformation session has a paper that introduces a structure-aware shape editing technique that preserves regular patterns in the input. There's a paper that introduces a computational framework to characterize shape space implicitly that lets modelers specify nonlinear constraints. And there are two papers that do so co-segmentation of shapes using multiple shapes to improve segmentation. In the video and capture session, we have a paper that reconstructs 3D animated tree models from video and creates various classes of trees. A paper that trains the computer to select still frames from a video that are a perfect candid photograph of a person. A new technique for acquiring detailed facial geometry using polarized spherical gradient information. And a video re face replacement method that replaces facial performance in spite of differences in appearance between the source and target. In the NPR session, we have a new rendering technique to create multi-scale views of 3D models a method for compositing stroke-based 3D paintings, a paper that introduces the problem of inverse drawing of line art, and then introduces computational techniques based on cognition literature to do inverse drawing of line art, and a paper that introduces a sketch-based dynamic illustration system for fluid systems that can be used by doctors to explain operations to patients before the operation takes place. In the session called Contact Collisions and Congestion, we have a paper that lets you do large-scale traffic simulation using hybrid agent and continuum methods, a low-cost approach to fluid dynamic simulations, an algorithm for interference-aware ge geometric modeling, and a new approach for level of detail for collisions and crowd simulations that's based on our understanding of human perception and an approach for robust hair dynamic simulation that captures Coulomb friction. In the session called Quads and Friends, we have papers that deal with quad meshes. We have a quad mesh modeling approach for architectural structure, a quad mesh editing paper with new connectivity editing operations, an approach for quad mesh parameterization, and a cross-frame field construction method. In the material editing session, we have a user-guided algorithm for editing spatially varying BRDFs, a physically-based interactive editing system for bi-scale material editing, an interactive system for modeling spatially varying reflectance properties and normals from one image, and an algorithm for retargeting measured materials. In the 3D capture and reconstruction session, we have a paper to reconstruct 3D objects from potentially noisy cross-sections, a method to globally parameterize a surface represented by a set of range images, and a new method for fusing depth maps at various scales. In the shading and shadow session, we have a real-time rendering paper that uses image-based bidirectional reprojection to increase frame rates, a method to reuse shading for micropolygon-based rendering algorithms, a genetic programming approach that automatically simplifies pixel shaders for better performance, and a pixel-accurate and real-time shadow algorithm. In the image mix and match session, we have a paper that learns cross-domain image similarity metrics that are based on what they call data-driven uniqueness. And this approach, this metric, then enables matching across images, paintings, and sketches. A new colorization method has been proposed that uses internet photos and image filtering for accurate color transfer. We have a paper that introduces a technique to create collages from internet images using cutouts, and a method to realistically insert synthetic objects into legacy photographs without access to the scene. In the rendering accuracy and efficiency session, 
We have a paper that develops a practical displacement interpolation using Lagrangian ma mass transport to add vect one function to another, a new ray tracing hardware architecture, better Monte Carlo sampling and reconstruction using greedy error minimization, and a GPU paral parallel hashing scheme for more spatially coherent hashing. In the animation session, we have a facial animation retargeting system for artists in a real production environment. We have a paper that introduces modal analysis to achieve better control algorithms for long-term planning in motion. A paper that introduces a robust control algorithm that uses soft contacts. A skinning deformation method for proper stretching and twisting along bones. And a new compression technique for large blend shape data to enable interactive manipulation of complex blend shapes. In the session called Shape and Vector Representations, we have an expressive authoring system for vector graphics design using thin plate splines for higher order fairing, an automatic algorithm to produce abstractions of objects based on planar slices, a new paper that introduces a multi-scale representation of volume data, and an approach that introduces compact bounding volume hierarchies for free-form geometric models. In the cameras and appearance session, we have a practical approach to calibrating spectral characteristics of trichromatic cameras, and a novel time of flight system for measuring BRDFs and reflectances in the wild that uses femtosecond cameras and lasers that measure light as it travels. A fast appearance capture method that uses a single photograph at step illumination to estimate a BRDF and mesoscale texture, and an interactive hair rendering and editing paper. In the image processing session, we have a paper that introduces GPU efficient algorithms for summed area tables and filtering, an approach for image smoothing with edge sharpening that sharpens prominent edges while suppressing low amplitude details, a new approach for rapidly approximating convolutions with large kernels that has many computational photography applications, and finally, a paper that unifies multi-grid and multi-level preconditioners that are two widely used techniques in computational photography. In the light transport session, we have a paper that computes core scale, distant, indirect lighting effects in scenes by combining compact transport on simple shapes. A paper that efficiently renders many light, light scenes using the global and local structure of the light transport matrix a new frequency analysis of shadow light fields for distant illumination, and finally, a paper that introduces progressive photon beams for simulating both heterogeneous and homogeneous media, volumetric media. In the session on architectural design and analysis, we have a new system that lets you do architectural modeling in context, an algorithm for retargeting irregular 3D architecture models while preserving their structure, a paper that introduces adaptive partitioning of urban facade data sets to derive a hierarchical representation of 3D facades. And finally, a method of summarization and abstraction of complex architectural drawings that's based on gestalt rules. And in the last session called Stereo and Light Fields, we have a paper that introduces a new dynamic light field display with layered LCDs using polarization fields a new method to compute and fabricate multi-layer models, a new large-scale, large-screen stereoscopic multi-viewer display with six tracked users, a system for stereoscopic camera control in interactive 3D applications, and a framework for stereoscopic disparity manipulation and post-production. This is a very brief overview of the great papers we're going to have in the technical papers uh, program of SIGGRAPH Asia 2011. I hope to see you there in December. Thank you.